Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Naya Slivers. And uh, hey, I got a new microphone. So let me know what you guys think. Um, I definitely feel like there's a little bit of more of an, not echoey, but uh, more open room type feel. Uh, probably something to do with my settings for like um, outside audio, noise reduction, something like that. Why am I playing with my Merfolk Popper deck? What on earth? Every time I load up Magic the Gathering online, it always <laughs> it always switches my decks now. It's really, really bad. All right. Uh, oops. Let's try to get the right deck in here this time. There's our Naya Slivers. Don't look at my failed creation of a Merfolk Popper deck, all right? It's, uh, it's pretty terrible, gotta say. Yeah, but hopefully the new mic works out. It's on a boom stand and everything, and I can finally keep it like plugged in all the time. You know, rest in peace. This little dinky thing. This thing was uh, did me good. It's still a good mic. Relatively inexpensive, but uh, it's time to try to upgrade a little bit. All right, so we've got a perfectly keepable hand here. And we're up against the guy that we just left on, so my apologies to you, sir. Had the wrong deck. Let's go through. I got a pop filter on this thing now, so it's like kind of blocking the bottom half. I gotta like lean over it. I'm gonna have to sort that out. Thriving Grove calling white. We have a gem hide. We're just gonna get set up here. Take it nice and easy while we test this out. Hopefully it's good. Let me know what you guys think. So if there's any recommended settings for clean audio on OBS, using OBS, let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. I'll probably Google it, sort it out too. But And if you have any other maybe less known audio tricks for OBS, let me know. All right, so they're calling red. They're playing some Gruel Ramp. This is interesting. All right, I got to focus here. I got to focus. We're playing a game now. Calling the red. Oh, jeez. Well, that's rip us, you know, rip us. That's bad. So we're playing land destruction and it looks like they're just going to do work on us here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm. This is rough. This is rough. Three color land destruction. What else are you doing? Are you doing anything else? Are you land destruction or are you disguising yourself and you're some kind of weird control deck all right um let's get something out while we can it's all we can do hopefully they don't destroy our planes i will go gem hide into another creature just to get things going but this is a little rough wild growth okay thank goodness they could still get another one here how do my p -p peas sound guys how do my poppin peas sound Don't do it. Don't do it. Jeez. Oh, what is... Wow. Cascade? Where are you from? Hold up. Is this the Commander logo? That is, isn't it? Reach, Trample, Cascade. 6-5. Okay. And they get a destroy. And they get a land destruction off the cascade. Okay, well, we keep drawing some stuff. Uh, just put down a plated, I guess, and pray. Game's not over yet, but it basically is, right? I mean, holy cow. They have one card in hand, one card. We're gonna take the hit from the Salosaurus. No big deal. And we are drawn into lands. That's good. We are just going to try to get down a lord here. And hopefully regain our grounding a little bit. Uh, that's the one thing with land destruction against us. We always seem to be able to draw into our land when we need it. Uh, we're never... You know, it. it's scary. It's a scary matchup. You feel like you're going to get screwed, but then you do draw into more lands. The gem hide is a savior, too, in this matchup. Um, so we're not going to be cutting him in the sideboard. And we are taking a lot of damage. 
Taking one more hit from him. Then we're going to set up to block him to hell. Alright. Pretty much fully set up here. We're not blocking with the gem high because we're going to need that. And we are on blocking duty, boys and girls. What do you guys think of the new music? I got a little, like, Star Wars lo-fi hip-hop thing going on right now. It's kind of cool. Hopefully all they have is land destruction now, because now at this point I'm like, okay, I don't mind. Tapping for three. I'm gonna take out my planes. What are you? A 6-3 Cascade from Commander Legends. Holy crap. Hey, 6-3. Okay, well, we have the defense. It's okay. And they hit another... Another land destruction. And they gain one. Sweet. Yep, take out my planes. Makes sense. They get a haster. And they're passing. Smart, smart. Ooh, winding way. Pretty stellar. Going for creatures. Okay. Cool. That is fine. Uh, do I want to put this guy out? He is just another blocker. I think we're fine to put him out. I'll just use my lords. Block with other things if we need to. And we're going to pass for now. You know, we'll be able to start attacking soon here. But I got to play this a little extra cautiously. I've got some big boys. And, you know, they keep drawing into crap. But they might have fizzled out it almost seems like they have and we just keep drawing our refills baby let's go muscle predatory sinew the trifecta lord combo yeah i don't really care what order yeah let's uh pile them down here we're gonna have some big big boys they haven't conceded yet but this is pretty boss what a nice comeback. I love coming back on these land destructions. And there's the... Okay. I was going to say, maybe they'll concede. I don't know. But all right. Very cool. <clears throat> all right. Let's take a look here. Do they run enchantments for land destruction? I know there are some enchantment land destructions out there. But do we need it? I didn't see what they were playing with with blue. It must be a splash just for another cascade combo, is my guess. They weren't really dealing us damage. Swift response, or do we just go hard? Could, mm, could take out a hunter, maybe, and bring in a swift response. I don't even know if we necessarily need to. Hmm... Interesting. Uh, I think I'm just going to run it back. We don't have a lot in our sideboard for this. I'm like, you know, Gleeful Sabotage, maybe. Maybe for an enchantment. Let's run it back. We just need to draw into our gem hides again. Get that fast start. Let's see what we can do. Are you mulliganing? He is keeping. We are. I didn't even look at my hand yet, but we're keeping. We're in the same situation. Um, and we are on the draw. So I don't really like it. They've got that three mana setup again. Draw a mountain. Something makes me want to just try to go forest, virulent, get a creature out. And attempt to get a gem hide out ASAP. I think the Thriving Grove is going to hurt us more than help us right now. I think we just need to play out 
our gem height as fast as possible. And we need to be able to get another creature out next turn too. Unless they kill land. Expect the land kill here. It's three mana, you know. And if they do, maybe this was the wrong choice. Maybe it was the wrong choice. I don't know. I'm bank I'm I guess it's kind of silly to bank off of them having the land destruction ASAP. Um but it looks like we made it out alright. They're playing five color land destruction. We haven't seen the black yet, but it's got to be in here somewhere, right? And do they have it? They do have it, don't they? <laughs> it was the wrong move, I think. Fudge. Now we're in a pickle, aren't we? So do we play out the Thriving Grove? Three cards left in hand. Such a rough spot. Well, we can't play any... Yeah, we're basically just doing this to do it now. Thriving Grove, choosing white. Uh, we'll get in there for one poisonous. Sure, why not? It's not hurting nobody. They've got their haste creature. Um, that's fine. Well, they don't have the red yet, do they? No, they don't have the red yet. Okay. This is an interesting land destruction deck. That's for, for for sure. Can't talk, talk, talk. Utopia. They're gonna have bank money on this forest here. Oh, I'm such a fool. Yeah, we can destroy their enchantments with gleeful sabotage. That could be a, very, a pretty relevant target. I mean, Utopia Sprawl is pretty good to take out if we could even get the mana for it. I mean, right now they're keeping us away from two mana, so we wouldn't be able to play it anyways. All right. Putting down the mountain. If that gets destroyed, it's not as relevant. We do need to draw into more lands, though. Big money tap and looks like a creature time. There it is. Boarding party cascade. Take out my land. Hit me for six. Oh, they hit a utopia. All right. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. Utopia. Uh, they didn't pay. Play the Ash Barons. That's fine. Hit me for six. Slivers are resilient. Let's go. All right. Hmm. Yeah, definitely doing it like this. Start getting set up a little bit. Extra defense, just in case we do need to start chump blocking. Just get extra prep for that. But uh, as long as they don't kill our gem hide, I think we're golden to start bringing this back. This is like the same replay as last time. Um, yeah, I'm still questioning my decision on getting the Viverlint down. Interesting. Molly D. Okay. So they got the Molly D for card draw. Sounds good. And they have a flyer, which is a problem. Will be. It's too damage, but it's rough still. We're taking another six, you know. Going to eight. All right, we're getting the lands now. That's also very good. Let's play... Man, I just want to play... I want to play Sentinel and attack in. We just don't have the best attacks yet. I guess I could do Sentinel. Put down a Sidewinder. 
swing for two. Just get in there for poisonous, then play a lord. All right. gonna keep sneaking in for damage just that poisonous damage really get them going a little bit here sentinel is excellent right now now we can keep up some blockers uh oh that's not good that's not good don't do me like this oh no oh no 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 oh no Hmm. Well, that was going to happen no matter what. That's rough. That's really, really rough. Oh, yeah. They were going to launch that no matter what. Um, if I had played the sinew first, though, we could have at least had... <sighs> No, no, we wouldn't have anything. It's fine. Yeah, that was uh, that was rough. Uh, fiery, fiery cannonade. Mm, hurts. That hurts. I think that's GG. What would we need? We would need a lot. We would need a lot, a lot. I don't think there's anything we could do. Sinew... Chomp block. No, we're, we're just dead. It's fine. We'll go to game three. We'll go to game three. Good fiery cannonade. I appreciate it. <clears throat> fiery cannonade. Uh, so yeah, let's... I guess we might as well try to do... Some of the... Destroy their enchantments. Take them off some mana play. I don't think it's going to work out super well. I want my sentinels... I'm not even going to trade them out for Spinner. I think they're more important than just one Molly Deep block. Um, cut one winding. I don't know how necessary these Gleeful Sabotages are. Part of me is just like, in this deck, you just want to focus on the creatures, get them down and outpace. I don't know if we could be taking turns off for Gleeful Sabotage, but let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, uh, we can't really toss it back, right? It's, it's a good hand. No turn one play, but we've got lands and we've got a gem hide, and that's all you can really ask for in this matchup. Gem hide in hand is pretty good. Turn one Arbor Elf again? Yeah, yeah. Winding Way is pretty nice, too. That actually is pretty nice. I'm going to get the Predatory out first. They can only destroy one land next turn. We put down a forest, we play Gemide, we play Sidewinder. That was such a dirty cannonade, bro. What are you picking? Red. Do you have a two mana play? I don't think you do. Oh, well, now they have a three mana play. All right. Bye bye forest. Bye bye. The other thing I would love to do is get out of range of fiery cannonade because I don't want that happening again. I would love to be able to just put down another predatory here. Honestly, I don't want to get lit up by fiery cannonade, but I have to get the gem hide down. Otherwise, we are completely screwed. We're going to put down Striking now, just in case. Just in case we don't get a chance to play red. We can at least draw into planes. We may not draw into red if our gem height dies. If we can survive this turn without a fiery cannonade, it might be in good shape. But I have my doubts. Is fiery cannonade too red? Island. Okay. Playing the island. Mm. 
I just want a Molly D here. Mm, they're thinking. I really don't have to use my winding way to find more lands. If they kill our gem hide, though, I might have to. Four mana. Is this the Cascade? All right, it's just the Molly D. All right, good. All right, we're in business. We're in business. This is good. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. All right. They are tapped. Pass the Fiery Cannonade. I think the game's a lock now, honestly. We got a refill. It's beautiful. Great board. Good board. Oh. Such a sketchy game, man. So they're always intense. I know I bash on land destruction, but it is sketchy. We've just got more outs than most to get around it. I would expect a big boy here at this point. If they don't have a, a creature to cascade into, I don't know what they're doing, you know? Acidic Moss, that's fine. They're going to grab a card. Sure. Force card. Playing it, playing it. Sure, take on my last land. Not a big deal. We are still swinging in for quite a bit. You are tapped out, and you are going to die. Swing with all. The beautiful Sentinel and Gemhide are the stars of the party today. They are the ones really carrying it. Gemhide giving us our mana. Sentinel allowing us to do all this nonsense right here. This is going to make him concede right now. Uh, yes. Yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're at two life. I think it's a GG. GG's. Guys, hopefully you enjoyed that one. Uh, if you did, leave a like. Let me know what you think about the new microphone. I'm pretty happy to have getting it set up today. Uh, I've been putting it off. I hadn't had the time to get it all set up, so I finally had a little bit of time today to do it. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and leave me your notes if you have any ideas for setting up the audio quality a little bit better i'm gonna fool with it some more but yeah if you do enjoy as well make sure to subscribe we've got more popper slivers coming up on friday and we've got all sorts of stuff in the rest of the week so stay tuned for that and we will see you guys in the next video